Hey yo, so I'm in Canberra. What is this? Uh, Canberra Centre. I I went. I came in the other night, and it was a night though, so none of the malls were open, and there was that lit up dragonfly thing and the giant spider. Now it's open, and there's all the stores are open, and. It's pretty much like the mall in Melbourne. I think all of the malls in Australia are pretty similar. Like I went to Gold Coast. I also went to Sydney. The malls are pretty much the same. Uh, the shops are pretty much the same. Like so. I'm on the f third floor. There's like three floors. I think there's only three floors because looking up there's only the ceiling. I don't really shop at like my uh, country road or like David Jones or any of these stores unless there's like something on sale I like for example like the camo I bought camo pants for like $15 but usually it's like $60 I bought that from JJ's not here but back in Melbourne so yeah but I, don't, I typically don't go into these types of stores. Plus, I don't really go clothes shopping unless I see camo and it's like reasonably priced or it's worth the price. Otherwise, otherwise I typically don't go clothes shopping. I usually buy video games. That's, I say that's the thing I shop for most video games. But again, I don't go to EB Games anymore because it's more expensive. I usually go on PlayStation Store. I play PlayStation, eh, PlayStation 4 mostly, so I usually go on PlayStation Store and buy games from there. I'm just gonna vlog and walk and I'll share thoughts if I have thoughts that come up. So just like sort of enjoy the view and the, the process. If I switch to my left hand, the angle looks sort of weird. I'm not really used to it, but I might do it. I'll show just do now. Yeah. A little bit of right hand, little mostly right hand, some left handed, so it's like flip that side. Jealous. This ice cream's good. This place, the one behind me, I'm trying to point to the side. Um, it's really good. I had pistachio ice cream here before, and I also had. I think it was green tea or matcha. Really good, really good ice cream. I'm kind of vlog. Sort of changing my vlog style a little bit, just doing different angles instead of just this one at the front. I'm gonna start doing side angles like this. Found another uh, enlightened little artifact display here but it's not as well seen no what am I saying you can't really see the the lights properly because it's not like dark it's better at night yeah so you like these stores Rolex and stuff and these stores I don't really shop here to be honest it's just not really in my budget range I don't really wear branded clothes and I don't see the need to wear branded clothes either but if you like wearing like Rolex and Polo Ralph and all that stuff that's okay too it's just not really for me sort of thing I'm just gonna film a bit more of the mall. I just turned the corner and this is a different section of the mall. Again, wait, the, why is there only two floors here? I don't know, there were fl three floors on the other side. Um, I'm just gonna vlog left, right. Yeah. So if you're a viewer from outside of Australia, so I, I live in Australia, I'm from Melbourne, but in this vlog I'm currently in Canberra on a little vacation. Australian malls are typically like this. Whether it be Westfield, uh, there's like Eastland, back in Victoria. M most malls, 
High Point, Chadston. Malls typically have the same layout as this. Like going to this mall, it's not it's not that different from the malls back home in Melbourne, even though I'm in a different state in Australia. Yeah. Malls are typically like this. And there tends to be 10 million clothes stores. Um, and a lot of, uh, what is it called? Brand labels and whatnot. So, yeah. Let me just do a 360 pan. If I get to a food court, I'll vlog that too. Hey y'all, so I found an EB Games, it's right behind me. And also found an arcade. And this is not typical of the mall, this is not unusual of malls in Australia, even the ones in Melbourne. Like big shopping malls, 10, well not all of them, not every single one of them, but they tend, like bigger shopping malls, tend to have an arcade like this. And there's a kingpin, so I'm from Melbourne. There's a kingpin back home in Melbourne as well in the CBD. It's Crown Galactic Circus in the CBD. Um, I'm not gonna play anything here, but I like arcades. I like arcades. I like arcade games. It's just, it's just um, money sucking machine. So yeah, but it's fun. Um, there's also a cinema here. I don't know where it is. Yeah, so I walked. I walked from all the way down there and now we're at this end of the mall. Hey y'all, so I just exited Canberra Centre. I'm outside now. I had a top juice and I did see a food court but like most of the shops, most of the restaurants were closed and it was pretty sad and there was like no one there. So I'm like, I didn't want to film it because it, it just looks so sad. So, yes, I'm outside now. This is Can Canberra CBD. Um, I haven't walked around the entirety of it. I don't know how big it is. I came here the other day at night, but now we've gone during the daytime. I say we, I mean me and my fam. That's Super Emoji. Side note, Super Emoji is a bubble tea place and it's, it's Japanese bubble tea. I had it yesterday, not here, in uh, Canberra CBD, but there's another place called Dixon. It's actually, the area is actually called Dixon. Um, I had Super Meiji there. It was pretty good. It was, I had Thai green milk tea. Uh, it was pretty good. That bingsu here. Wait, I'm gonna show you bingsu. I had bingsu in Melbourne from Scoopies, right? Bingsu is like a Korean dessert. It's it's ice cream, right? But it's not like regular ice cream. It's like half ice cream, but it's sort of like... Imagine a frozen drink mixed, mixed with ice cream. They have bingsu here. I actually like bingsu better than regular ice cream because it's sort of... It's like shaved ice cream in a way. And you can add toppings and stuff to it and different things like bubble taste, customizable shaved ice cream. And the one I had in Melbourne, I don't know about here, but the one I had in Melbourne from Scoopies so was gluten free. I should make a video talking about my food allergies and my experiences. But just for this context, I'm gluten intolerant. If I have gluten, I will have really bad abdominal pain, and have a really bad reaction to it. I won't have anaphylaxis, but I'll get severe pain as a result of it. So yeah. Not, I, I don't have celiac disease as well though. Just really, really bad reaction to it. Anyway, back to Scoopy. Yes, the one in Melbourne is, you can get the gluten-free option, which is awesome. Bingsu is good. And if you're in Melbourne, I recommend trying Scoopy's. Scoopy's, it's um, Scoopy's Milk Bar in the CBD. Yep. Oh, this is the area I've been walking in, so. I'm just gonna do a 360, let y'all take in the uh, environment. It's 
slow panning. I think this is the food court area. I'm gonna vlog a little bit from this angle. There's pepper lunch here. There are some restaurants here that are unique to here, but there are also some restaurants here that exist back home in Melbourne, like Pepper Lunch and KFC. And there was also Dosa Hut. They have that in Melbourne too. But something like Super Emoji is not a bubble tea that exists in Melbourne. So yeah. This is more of the city. I'm just gonna vlog a 360 sort of thing. So I came from that direction. Now I'm just gonna walk down the street. There's a McDonald's. It's an IGA, oh my god, music, not copyright, please. There is an IGA. This is an IGA. This entire area out here with the fruit stores outside are all part of IGA. There's a subway down there and across the street there's a bunch more stores. I haven't oh there's a game store, tobacco store. Uh and yeah. And there's a club around this corner, I think. It's one of these corners. I think it's the corner left here. When we came here at night, I my family and I drove past, there was like a long ass line for the club. And uh there it was really flashy. Upstairs, uh, the line like bent around the corner. I don't know, I've never been clubbing and it's not really something that's sort of for me. Like, I just think of clubbing as loud music, extremely loud music, a lot of alcohol and no personal space. And I'm not really a big fan of alcohol, so I think that's a large part of why clubbing for me. I mean, if I went to a concert that had loud music and I enjoyed it, I wouldn't have a problem with it. But just clubbing... It's like there's no space in there. I saw how, how crammed everyone is in there. Already from like, not even going in. And there's already like a long line, like... People are just like next to each other and there's like no personal space. I'm just like, I, I can't. I mean, if it was free, I don't know if the club was free, I didn't line up for it. But if there was a free club, I would just go in to look for like five minutes and I would just leave. That's what I would do. I wouldn't actually stay there. Yeah. <laughs>